And now to an update. One of the most beloved landmarks here on the Central Coast could stay close longer, and it's not because of the pandemic. KSBY News reporter Erin Fay was in San Simeon to find out why Hearst Castle might prolong its closure. I'm at the Hearst Castle Visitor Center where buses come to pick visitors up and drive them all the way up the hill to Hearst Castle. But the monument is closed and state parks are investigating the stability of the roads after January's heavy rains. You know, staff found um, some uh, sinkholes next to uh, the culverts, which, you know, could be from the, the level of rain. We had over 20 inches of rain uh, on the hilltop. Uh, during that 18 hour, you know, plus storm event. Culverts are the draining systems that run under roads to channel water. State Parks is looking at two and a quarter miles worth of roads using ground penetrating radar to find any damage that might be underground. Really what we're doing is taking taking the buses off the road because we don't we don't want that uh, continual pressure um, and and we don't you know, I, I can't even really speculate. Um, you know, what could happen. These buses are the only way to get from the parking lot all the way up to Hearst Castle. And in pre-pandemic times, they could hold upwards of 54 people. They would also run every 10 minutes. The, the estimated time frame is four to six months. When that report is received, we will have an idea of what, if anything, the current scope of the problem is. And then that will allow us to uh, determine what's the next course of action. State Parks told me they will have a better idea of the reopening date after they receive that report, but they are optimistic that it will be sooner than later. In San Simeon, Aaron Fay, KSBY News. In terms of COVID-19 restrictions, State Parks is not sure when Hearst Castle will be eligible to reopen because they have to transport tourists via buses to the monument and most of the tours are indoors.